Okay, so I'm assuming you've downloaded the uh, Ubuntu ISO and you've downloaded the uh, VMware Workstation Player. Uh, some people like VirtualBox, so I, I used to use that before too, but I've, I've, I've started using uh, VMware. Anyway, uh, once you've downloaded those, I just want to show you how to set up a virtual machine. Okay, so you go into your uh, installed VMware Workstation Player, just go create a new machine. Okay, uh, select the location where you downloaded the Ubuntu ISO. I know Ubuntu 20 is out, but I'm just going to stick with this one because I, I have it on my machine. Uh, and click next. Uh, your name, and then uh, put in your password. Okay. All right. So this is going to be your password for your machine when you log in. Okay, for that user, you're creating a user right there. Here, I'm going to just put temp because uh, this is not what I'm going to keep. Uh, this is the maximum size. So this is the size of the disk uh, that you're devoting to this machine. Okay, this machine that you're virtualizing within your own machine. So you're giving it resources from your machine. I would leave it on split uh, into multiple files. And then I would definitely recommend that you customize your hardware. So your machine, my machine has uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so I can devote up to uh, the amount of resources that my system has. So if I've got 12 gigabytes, I should be able to part with 6 gigabytes for this machine, something around there. Okay, uh, number of processors, I have 8 on my physical machine. I might be able to give uh, Ubuntu on the virtual machine 4. Okay, now there's only one thing that I want to, this reminds me here, is that if you don't have virtualization enabled, and this is through your BIOS, okay, whether you have UEFI BIOS or you have uh, the old old style BIOS, uh, you're going to have to get into your BIOS and it's going to be different for every manufacturer. So I, I can't really help you there. Uh, you may want to look it up on Google and say, okay, uh, for this machine, how do you enter BIOS? And from there, you want to enable virtualization. Okay, the, the reason why you, you might have to do this is that some manufacturers don't have virtualization enabled for security purposes and you're going to need to enable it if you want to use a virtual machine okay so once you have that you may want to check other other things you might want to might want to have uh, USB 3 compatibility well my machine doesn't have USB 3 so if you don't have it you can't really can't really use it but there's there's different things here your display if you want to use uh, your host monitor host settings for your monitors resolution other things like that Okay, so uh, this is devoting resources from your hardware machine or your physical machine to your virtual machine. Okay, and then just say close, and uh, everything should be there. You can see how many, uh, how much RAM, how much CPU you have. And you want to might want to power it on once you create it. So I'll say yes, finish, and then what will happen is that Ubuntu will be installed uh, on your virtual machine. Okay, I'm not going to take you through the process. I it's, it's going to be it's going to take some time to do this, okay? But once that's done, you're ready to go. You'll have Ubuntu on your machine. For now, what I want to do, I want to power up my Ubuntu. Okay. For code editing, you want to install Visual Studio Code. I, I would I would install it. It's it's a really nice uh, IDE. Uh, you're going to want to use it for for everything we do in this course okay it's clean it's it's uh, it's small it's quick you can run it in in um, in, in Ubuntu you can run it in Windows uh, well Windows Linux uh, Mac if you have a Mac all of these things can be can be run so uh, I'm just gonna ask you to install once you have Ubuntu installed install uh, Visual Studio Code okay and Okay, so here let me let me log in. Okay, so you can you can find VS Code in the store in the um, in the software center in Ubuntu. Uh, so that's it's fairly fairly simple and easy to install. I'm just gonna go in here. I've I already have it installed, but if you go into here Ubuntu software, uh, you can you can look look up VS Code, 
And then what I want you to install in here is uh, something called pull request. You don't have to understand what we're doing here, but what it does is it allows you to uh, to make pull requests without having to log into your uh, into GitHub online. Okay, because we're gonna we're gonna have Git, which uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, from the terminal. But from in here, I'm gonna show you a couple of little things. So one is this is the IDE uh, I was talking about. The well, we don't have we don't have a Git repo here, but you see this source control here. So th this is the you have an IDE right built into uh, VS Code, but what they don't have is GitHub's pull requests. Okay, so what you do if you want to add this, uh, you go in here and you search for an extension. You just just search GitHub pull request. Okay, and you want the one that's made by GitHub, and then you just install that one. Okay, so just have that. It's just something I want you to have in the background. Once you have uh, Ubuntu installed, you got Visual Studio Code installed. Put this, uh, these pull requests up. Then we can move on to the next step. Okay, all right, and thanks.